Hi Leo, what are you doing today? I'm looking at the drones to decide which one do you want to buy. And number two, watch out for buying cheap drones like this one. This is my DJI collection of the drones. And I'm going to show you what it does. And, I'll, and so you can decide which one do you want to buy. I have other drones and if you want to see them please like and subscribe. This is the Tillo drone. It's more for playing for kids so pl kids can play. It's a nice indoor drone. And yeah, it's the Mini SE. And it's more for beginners to fly drones. And here's the Air 2S. And this is for professionals. My mum and dad supervise me when I fly the drones and make sure to follow the country's rules where you're allowed to fly it. How much do they each cost? And it's $189. The drone was about $700. We bought it about $2,400. Be careful to buy cheap drones. If the price is, is too good, then do not buy it like this one. What's all, all in these boxes? Let's find out. I'm going to show you the Nutella drone. Let's look what's inside of this box. Let's see. Yes, the drone. Looks so cool. Yes, the plugs. And yes, a battery. And yes, extra repellers. And yes, some booklets. It has a nice camera. And then it has two sensors. And and uh, I like the guards that's on it. The drone looks like a wow bolt quality. This this drone is powered by DJI. Guys, I'm gonna show you the mini SE. That's cool. I'm gonna see what's in this box. Wow, suitcase. <gasps> wow. Here's the remote. Here's the batteries. Here's a plug. Two plugs. And here's the drone. Wow. My favorite drone is the mini one. It's small and easy to carry around. I love playing with the drone and it's so easy to control and it's stable. I'm going to show you the air tools. I'm going to show you 
what's in the box. Whoa. Oh. Wow, look. It's the drone. And here's the remote. Wow, look, it's the drone. And yes, some chargers. Charger cables. Wow, look. Some blades and some filters. And one, two, three batteries. It's like big as a monster drone. It's easy to control and I like flying it. How much do they weigh? This one weighs 80 grams. Let's, let's check how much they weigh. Look at the size of the two drones. These are the two drones compared to each other. This one weighs 249 grams. 600 grams. This one's the heaviest. I wish I can run as fast as the drone. <laughs> Leo, how long do they charge? They all charge the exact same. 19, 19 minutes per battery. This is the drone, and I'm going to put the battery, it comes with a battery, so I'm going to put the battery in. Okay, let's push it in. There you go. And it comes with a ish, USB charger, so you can charge it, you charge it over here. It takes 90 minutes to charge a battery, like that. So when you put it on charge, it will stop flashing when it's full. This is how we check the batteries. You press, you press this once, then it will show you. Remember to charge your batteries before you fly. If you click on the button, it tells you how much batteries it has. Guys, I'm going to put the battery in. So you first open the top repellers. But then you, then you open the bottom ones. Back, then up. And same with the other side. Let's put the battery in now. There we go. Yeah. And you click this one at the bottom that will show you. Remember to charge your batteries. There you go. So you first open the back like that. Then you take a battery. Then you put the battery in like that. Then you close it. Then you're ready to fly. If you flip it upside down, there's a little button here. Then when you press it, the lights show up and that tells you how much batteries it has. You must first open the front legs and then the back legs. There we go. But this one, when you, when you switch it on, it shows different colours of a light, how full it is. I recommend buy a power bank because you can charge it wherever you go. I have an app on my phone to make it easy to fly the drone. Here it goes. <laughs> Eli, how long does it take until until the batteries are dead? This one says for 10 minutes. These two last for 30 minutes per battery. Guys, I'm going to show you how to switch it on. So you press once, then you hold it in. If the battery is flat, it will return home automatically. Oh. Oh. Number 
forget to take off the cover when you fly. So you switch it on here. Then the light will flicker. If it if it shows you, you can connect it to your phone. Guys, I'm going to show you how to put it on. So you first click once, then you hold it in, then you put it down. <laughs> Remember to take the cover off when you fly. Now, how fast do they go? Let's find out. The, the, mini, the, the Mini SE goes 50 kilometers per hour. So fast. The tiller goes 25 kilometers per hour. I enjoy watching Neo fly. The tiller only has two speed settings, and the other two drones have three set speed settings. And, and big the one. Goes. And the big one goes 70. I love flying the drone very fast. Let's look at the remotes. This is the Mini SE's remote. The, the small one you need your phone doesn't come with a remote, you have to put it on the app on the cell phone. Or you can use a Bluetooth, a Bluetooth remote. And this is the Air 2 S's remote. Let me show you the remote. So you use a phone to fly it. This is what the two remotes look like. Let me show you the remote. You use a phone to fly. What are the range or what are on your drone? This one goes 100 on Bluetooth. This one's 18.5 kilometers. The sun's range is four kilometers. Which one can fly in the wind? The tailor struggles in the wind. The wind took my drone away. It's a little bit difficult to, to do it in the wind. They both can fly in wind up to 40 kilometers per hour. Let's see which camera is the best. We first starting up with this one. The camera is fixed and it's 720p and 5 megapixel photos. This one's camera is not so good, it's only 720p. You don't put a memory card in this one. If you take a video, it saves it to your phone. Let's test the camera how good quality it is. We're going to test it on my dad's car. We're going to test the video quality in the camera. The camera is fixed and it doesn't have a gimbal. Makes it hard to get a nice video. This is what the video looks like on the phone and you can see me moving the joysticks. This is the video from the phone. You 
can see the pixels are a bit lower and it's a bit laggy. But I still think it did pretty good. I tried to film myself with the drone and look at me. This is the two photos that we took with the drone and I think it's quite nice. It has a gimbal so it can move and it's a 2.7K video and it's a 12 megapixel photo. This camera is a bit smaller, it's a 2.7K. The mini drone can take a memory card here at the back. We gotta test the camera how good quality it is. We gotta do it on the car. The video quality looks much better. The gimbal helps stabilize is the video. I love taking videos with my drone. The video quality looks much better than the Tillo. The color looks better on this video. The photo quality looks much better. Can you see the gimbal? Oh, it got, it got, got five. 0.4K video, 20 megapixel photo. The drones have preset recordings that you can do. This one can take a memory card. You open it here, then you put your memory card in there. It also has eternal memory if you don't have a card. I'm going to show you how good the camera is. Can we go film the car? The drone hovers even if there's wind. The gimbal makes the, the, the video quality nice and stable. This drone takes the nicest videos. The video recording is nice and smooth. Some functions that you can press so you don't have to move the drone. So you can record nice videos. This drone takes the nicest is photos. Let's let's see the sensors. So, so the Tillo has two at the bottom, and the Mini SE as it has two at the bottom. Let me show you the sensors. So it's at the front, bottom, back. This one has two sensors at the back. And this one also has two sensors at the back. I'm a tree and a drone doesn't want to go into me. Here we go test the sensors of the A2S. But the big one has at the back and the front in the middle so example if you like go crash into a tree it stops so if you go forward it will keep on stopping we'll make the sound of something in its way i'm going forward but i can't go forward just a normal tree and, and here's the big one I like about the big one be, be, because it protects stuff so you don't crash and it has a return to home or land. Let's see how they take off. My brother told me how to take off and fly. We are going to do the hand, the hand take off. I like throwing the drone because it doesn't crash.
It's really easy to fly and take off. It's easy to fly and it's a great toy for kids. Let's test it. It's easy to take off. Remember to update your home point. Take off. Let's see the air to S take off. Let's see how they land. I'm going to show you a hand landing. I lo the hand landing is so cool. It landed on my hands. I'm going to show you how to stop it. You can use this stop if it's an emergency. Sensors on the trail makes it easier to land. You can press the home button to land by itself. with the tallow. What I like about this one, it's nice for playing indoors, but what I don't like about it, is if you play outside, even if there's just a little bit of wind, it still loses some control and then crash. Whoa, I did a trick. Let me show you some of the yeah. flight mode tricks. You can do tricks with the tallow, but the other ones can't. I love showing off my tricks. This one is my favorite because it's like it's like really fast. I recommend buying this drone for any kid and beginners. I love the sound that it makes. I like flying this drone because even a kid can do it. The Mini SE and Air 2S have, have very sharp movements. This makes controlling them very, very easy. Use gentle movements for making videos. The Tello you must buy for indoors. The, the Mini SE you can buy for beginners. And the Air 2S you can buy to make nice videos and go very fast. Yeah, you can see me playing with the Mini more because I like playing with it. All three drones have preset video recordings that you can do. I hope this video that we made helps you decide which one to buy and thanks for watching our videos. Eli, can you buy any accessories? Yes. Let me show you them. You can buy a 
two extra batteries, a helipad, and a remote. Here are some of the accessories you can buy for the big one, like sunshield and lenses. This is some of the accessories that you can buy. The landing legs and the lens. If you want to see more accessories, please like and subscribe for another video. Yeah. Thanks for watching my video. Bye. If you want to see more drone videos, please like and subscribe. Bye. Thanks for watching our video. Please remember to like and subscribe and click the bell and like.